I bought this refurbished PS5 from GameStop, and in this video, we'll take an in-depth look at it to see if they refurbished anything and if it's worth the almost $500 price point. And here's the box, and the first thing I noticed when I picked it up is there's a lot of stuff sliding back and forth, so I don't have much hope here, but let's go ahead and open the box up and see what's inside. All right, and the big reveal, we have another white box on the inside, so we'll take that out and see what's below that. All right, white box, and oh, there's the PS5, and that does not look ideal. Oof. Um, just strange, strange packaging. I mean, I guess it held it in place, but there's not much cushioning on the sides. So let's go ahead and take it out and see what it looks like. All right, so pull it out and let's go ahead and, oh, oh, nope, they did, <laughs> they did it again, guys. Oh, it's harder to tell because it's a white console, but I scratched it up with Magic Eraser. Oh, man, every time. Now, the question is, did they do it to the glossy part? I can't tell because I don't have any light over here yet, so let's flip it around and look. And they did, they did it. No way. Dude, they did it. Oh, man. I Every time, man. Like, I without fail, Magic Eraser, they go ham on this thing. And, like, look at that. It looks so bad. I mean, come on, man. Every time. So we'll take a closer look at this console in a second. First, I want to take a look inside of that big white box they included. All right, so here it is. And let's see if we can open it up. Oh, it's nice and smashed on the edge. And here we go. So we have our classic little startup guide telling you how to turn your console on we've got a power cable wrapped up we've got a hdmi cable we also have our stand this is good i thought for a second they might not include the stand but we do have the stand now do we have the screw is the real question all right and yes we do have the screw is that the original screw it kind of looks different huh i have i have not touched the screw on my ps5 in a while but that looks different maybe it's not i don't know but uh that looks like a different screw, honestly, at first glance. But otherwise, the stand looks okay. And then we have our controller here. And this will this will be interesting to see what kind of condition this is in. Um, first glance, it's not bad, except the control, the uh, the analog sticks are a little bit questionable. I'll show that up, up close in a second. We have our USB-C cord as well. So here's the controller they included. It doesn't look too bad. I'm trying to see if it's scratched up with Magic Eraser. I don't think it is, so that's good to see. Uh, now, the analog sticks, for some reason, look like they are dirty, but I think it might just be the cardboard rubbing against them. I still think that when people ship out controllers like this, they need to either rub it in bubble wrap, wrap it in a bag or something, because these things rub against the cardboard and shipping and get like dust all over them. Either that or they were just dusty from the from the GameStop factory. Um, but then the, the back looks okay. I don't see any issues there. And just at first glance, all the buttons click, not dirty or anything. So the controller actually looks uh, pretty good. So back to the console and man, this thing looks, it looks really bad. It's, it's kind of hard to see. There's scratches all over it. You got some really bad bands of scratches like right here. Then flipping over to the front here, it's just, just as bad, I guess worse, honestly, because it's black and you can see it a whole lot easier. So I'll show you guys there. I mean, just look at all those scratches, the entire thing. Like, let's look at the top. I'm sure they did it there too. Yep, so the top is mutilated with scratches as well. And yeah, I mean, like no spot on this console was left out. And then flipping over to the front here, again, scratches all over it. All right, now let's flip over to the bottom. See if they scratched up that and oh they didn't. Nice. So they at least left one side off and maybe the back. Oh, even the back, guys. Look at that. They even scratched up the back side. I mean, they literally left no side unturned except for the bottom. But every other side is scratched up. Now let's take a look at our ports and see how they look. Now zoomed in here on the back, we've got our two USB ports, our LAN port, our HDMI port, and our power port. They all look pretty good at first glance. I did have a Series X that I bought refurbished from GameStop recently. And the HDMI port was really bad. Check that video out if you want to. I'll throw it on the screen right now. But let's go ahead and uh, I guess let's plug this console in and, and see if it works. Before I plug it in, I wanted to let you guys know I will be giving away this brand new God of War PS5 Digital Edition on a Whatnot stream in a few weeks. Now, if you don't know what Whatnot is, it's a live auction app, kind of like a combination of eBay and Twitch, where I'll essentially hop on and live stream and I'll sell stuff simultaneously. Now, if you sign up using the link down below, you get a $15 credit for Whatnot. And I have some pretty cool stuff you can use that credit on. So let me go ahead and show you how to use that credit and how to enter the giveaway. So first thing you want to do is hit the link down below. It'll take you to this page where you click claim your credit and sign up and you'll get $15 of Whatnot credit. Now, once you've done that, you'll open up the app, go down to the middle, hit the search button, go to the top, type in Jacob Bar. You'll see my profile, click on that, click see all shows, and you'll see all my shows here. Go ahead and bookmark all of them. So you can go ahead and click on any of the live streams, go to the bottom right-hand corner where it says store, then go to buy now, and you'll see these gift cards right here that you can use your credit on. And if you also come back to my shows page and click on PS5 giveaway, that's when I'll be giving away the PS5. So all I gotta do is be present in the stream, make sure your address and everything is verified, and you'll be eligible to win. Everything is plugged in now, and the first thing I noticed is the HDMI port is not wiggly here, which is good. Uh, it was wiggly on the Series X that I bought from GameStop recently. Now let's go ahead and plug the controller in, 
and see if this console boots up. We're booted up now and I walked around my console and got away from the exhaust and man, it does does not smell good. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why every console I buy from GameStop smells, but it's it's not quite like cigarette smoke. I don't know what the smell is, kind of musty. I don't know, it's weird, but it, it does not smell good. We're booted up now, setup process is done. Let's go ahead and try out a PS5 game first just to make sure it works. This is the disc version, so yep, no, <laughs> there's no disc in there, so no, no free game. We'll try out a PS5 game first, then we'll try out a PS4 game as well, because the PS5 is backwards compatible with PS4 games, of course. So the game is queued up now, and while it's doing that, I'm going to go and test out the internet. So we're connected up already, but I want to test the speeds and just make sure um, we're not having any issues there. This console appears to be okay. We have download speeds and upload speeds. So one issue you could have with a PS5 is that the whole console could be banned from PSN, which is obviously an issue, and usually it happens when somebody reports a console stolen or something like that. Uh, but my upload speeds are really slow, so I'm going to rerun that test one more time just to see if it comes up a little faster this time. Alright guys, so we're having an issue with upload speeds. Right now it gave me 760 kilobits per second, which is extremely slow. I just ran a speed test on my phone and got 35 megs up. So I'm going to go to the browser here and see if I can run an Ookla speed test and get something better than uh, what the PSN speed test is telling me. I just ran a speed test in the browser and I'm getting 37 up, which is a whole lot better than I what I was getting. So I guess it's just an issue with the uh, PlayStation Network capping out my speeds. Uh, this game is downloaded now though, so let's go ahead and make sure it boots up. So we're booted up into the PS5 game. I'm not going to play this game. I'm actually going to play Astro's Playroom because that's better for testing out the triggers and stuff. Uh, but I also want to test out PS4 games real quick. All right, so until dawn for the PS4 worked as well. So PS5 and PS4 games are good off a of disc here. I also go ahead and boot up Astro's Playroom, which I downloaded. And this game is really good for testing out like triggers, vibration, that sort of thing. So uh, we're going to try it out. And I also want to just reiterate how bad this console smells. Like I've gotten used to it because I've been sitting here for a while now. But when you just walk past the vent and sniff, oof, it's it's not good. It's not cigarette smoke. It's like, it's like rotten, dead, uh, moldy. I don't know. It just smells really weird. So I'm, I'm very curious to see what it looks like inside the console, which by the way, we will be opening up the console and seeing what's inside. So we'll see if they actually refurbished anything. But let's go ahead and test out Astro's Playroom real quick. All right, so first thing to note is the speaker on the controller is working and also I can I can feel his little feet running around. So the vibration is working as well. Let's go ahead and just hop into Cooling Springs and test out a few other things. All these buttons work great as well so far. Now the thing I'm really concerned about are the triggers because those things uh, pretty easily break. Now what I wanna do is go back to the main menu here and go to the claw machine because the claw machine is really good for testing out these adaptive triggers. I'm actually in a new game and we're in the controller demo now. We can test our adaptive triggers here. And yeah, they're working. So I can feel some resistance. They're pretty neat. If you never tried them out, you definitely got to try them out. Definitely, definitely the coolest triggers I've ever used. I'm trying to break them now. Yeah. <laughs> I tested everything out in this controller demo, so it's all it's all working great. Now, the last thing I want to do here is take the console apart and see what they actually refurbished because so far the console seems to work fine. It does smell not good, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside. And one more thing, the fan on the PS5 actually sounds kind of loud. I haven't ever put my ear next to my PS5 to listen to it, but it sounds a little bit odd. Let me put it next to it and see if you guys can hear it. So it just sounds kind of weird. I'm not sure if that's normal or not, but just something something else to point out. So we'll first start by taking these panels off. Pretty easy to do. We just gotta lift up this corner and slide it. That actually came off really easily, so you know it's been open before. And looking at this side, you can see some scratches here. So obviously there's been a screwdriver around here. And just looking at it, not too dirty. It's a little bit dusty, but uh, nothing crazy. And let's take off the other side as well. All right, this side came off pretty easily as well. And just looking at it, ooh, it's got some like weird dust in there what oof it's got some like a really dark dust that's that might be where our smell is coming from but other than that both the panels look pretty good nothing too crazy going on here now this console is a bit hot because i just turned it off now looking at it you can see our warranty seal is broken down there and then you also have to have to open up this piece to get it further open so at least they put that piece back but just first glance at it doesn't look too bad now the first thing we'll do here is take off this little panel right here, which will tell us if there's an SSD inside, which I'm assuming not. I did not see one when I was in the GUI, but we're just going to take a quick peek. So I don't see anything there or any remnants of there ever being an M.2 SSD there. But if you want to add one, I'll throw a link on the screen that'll teach you how to add an M.2 SSD. I highly recommend. Very easy to do and adds a lot of storage. Now let's go ahead and start taking this console apart further. So I'm partway taking this thing apart and just, just look at that. That is absolutely disgusting they call this refurbished like I, I i just basically what i did is i took all the screws out pulled this piece up and then boom just tons of dust that's all around the fan on the sides like i don't know what 
come on man like they call this refurbished i mean that's just sad like it's it's disgusting it looks like dirt in the in the camera but it's, it's not dirt it's all dust and i don't even want to touch it it's it doesn't smell like cigarette dust i don't i don't know what it smells like it just does not smell good it smells bad <laughs> come on gamestop i mean really oh my goodness i just i just got the outer pieces all the way off so first of all here's the other outer piece covered in dust again and now look at this heat sink it is filthy sorry i got some wire straddling here but dude look at that oh my gosh what what did they refurbish they didn't oh my what in the world does refurbish not mean clean my goodness this thing is caked in dust and dirt whatever that is i don't know i don't see any dead animals in there yet but i'm kind of surprised i don't because this thing is absolutely filthy my goodness this this is this is bad <laughs> so zoomed in a bit more you can just see there's a bunch of dust straddling between there it's all like uh, just hanging over there caked in between the the like oh, look at that just caked in there caked in there over there no wonder this thing got so hot when i was playing i mean it's normal to get it hot but it was getting really hot probably because there's so much stuff caked in here you can even see the power supply over here just just the dust and dirt caked over here i, I don't know what else to do with this console because i can't take off the heat sinks i don't want to get down to the liquid metal or anything but look, taking a look at this side, like I don't see anything obvious that's been uh, refurbished. Like on the Series X that I bought from GameStop, they they fixed the HDMI port. And if you zoom in here, it does not look like it's been repaired or anything. So I'm not quite sure what they did here. Maybe they replaced the uh, the disk drive. Uh, looks pretty normal to me. Maybe they fixed something there. So as I was putting this back together, I noticed that this little piece of tape right here is broken. So I'm assuming the disk drive was refurbished. I'm not going to open it up. It is working. Uh, but it seems that they opened this up, refurbished the disk drive, put it all back together, did not clean out any of the dust. Just a, just a terrible job, man. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did not because my hands are, like, I feel like I can't touch anything. They're, they're just disgusting. Like, I, this console is absolutely nasty. This thing is going right back to GameStop. They better give me a refund because this is this is unacceptable. Like, I can't believe I paid 460 plus tax for this absolutely disgusting PS5. Guys, if you want a PS5, buy a brand new. Do not buy one from GameStop. This is just, this is unacceptable. Just terrible. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.